Located on a lush hilltop in the picturesque town of Sintra, Portugal, is a fairy tale castle painted in the most vivid and most vibrant of colors. It all started in the 8th century, when the Moors built a monastery on top of a hill, with unrestricted views of the surrounding Sintra region and the ocean. According to tradition, it was the same spot where an apparition of the Virgin Mary appeared. Over the centuries, it served as a place of worship and retreat for the local monks. And its serene surroundings amidst the lush forest, contributed to its tranquil ambience. In the aftermath of the 1755 Lisbon earthquake, which had a profound impact on Portugal, the monastery fell into a state of disrepair. It remained in ruins for decades until 1838, when King Ferdinand II, known for his keen interest in art and architecture, purchased the monastery to transform it into a romantic and picturesque summer home, for the Portuguese royal family. King Ferdinand was a German native, and the husband of Portugal's Queen Maria II. After marrying into the Portuguese royal family, Ferdinand felt the need to prove himself to his Portuguese subjects. And so he hired German architect Baron Wilhelm Ludwig von Eschwager, to transform the site into a grand romantic palace, that would blend various architectural styles, to show his love and appreciation of Portuguese culture. The ambitious project of transforming the monastery into a palace, continued for over a decade, with Queen Maria never getting the chance to see the finished product. She died in 1853, giving birth to the couple's 11th child. However, Ferdinand and his second wife Elise, were able to enjoy his dream palace up until his death in 1885. The result of Ferdinand's vision, is a unique and eclectic masterpiece, blending elements of Moorish, Gothic, Renaissance, and Manueline architecture. The palace's exterior is adorned with intricate carvings, decorative tiles, and ornate details, that reflect the eclectic tastes of the Romantic era. The facades feature a variety of architectural elements, including arches, turrets, and battlements, creating a visually stunning and harmonious composition. The use of vibrant colors, such as shades of red, yellow, and blue, further enhances the palace's whimsical appearance, and stands out against the lush greenery of the Sintra Mountains, making it a striking landmark visible from miles away. The palace's interior is equally impressive, featuring opulent rooms decorated with exquisite furnishings, tapestries, and works of art. The Piña Palace played a significant role in the history of Portugal, witnessing various historical events, including the establishment of the Portuguese Republic in 1910, which led to the exile of the royal family. Subsequently, the palace was transformed into a state museum, and opened to the public, allowing visitors to explore its rich history, and marvel at its architectural splendor. In 1995, the Piña Palace, along with the surrounding cultural landscape, was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Today, the Piña Palace stands as a symbol of Portugal's cultural heritage and a testament to the creativity and vision of those who contributed to its construction. Its fairy tale appearance, vibrant colors, and unique architectural blend continues to captivate and inspire visitors, making it one of the most iconic landmarks in Portugal. It is a must-visit destination for those seeking a journey through history and art.